back to the Leah Moses Entrepreneur Podcast, the podcast where you can hear all about business, self-employment, entrepreneurship, marketing, and topics of the like. Of course, today I want to speak about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been doing some amazing things for us, and I definitely want to share in that so that you can actually make a move and be a part of this thing, this new era, this digital currency. Right, so Bitcoin, what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency that has been created, the first online money. So it's not physical, right? It's just digital figures on a screen, if you want to call it that. That's the simplest way I can put it. Now, why is that better than what we know as, as what we what we think about as money, which is the notes and, and coins? Well, the problem exists in governments today, even the United States that holds the world reserve currency is that governments at will print money causing inflation inflation means prices rise right things cost more you can't buy the same amount of money uh, same amount of products or services that you could have with the same um hundred dollars let's just use that for an example um that's what inflation does but that's what the printing of money does now in other countries right you have the printing of money uh, in a to do all kinds of fraud, right? So you just print money and it doesn't represent true activity of goods and services being sold to generate income. And that's not the way the world works. If everyone, if every country was just able to print money and, and it has no consequences, then there will be no point to really work in and everybody should just print some money, hand everybody, and then we live merry, right? But that's not the way... Uh, this works that's not the way economics is supposed to be so with that printing of money the government is in control of that and at their will they can do that causing a me causing a a, 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 a domino effect or a negative effect on many things right however with cryptocurrency let's talk bitcoin bitcoin has been created by an anonymous person or group right we don't know right and the intention was and is sorry to create only 21 million coins right establishing scarcity meaning that upon the mining of that 20 that that 21 that 20 that 21 million btc right no more can be created so what that automatically says is that those who have have and those who don't have don't have it's like land in the early days those who made a move and got the land in the good area before the prices skyrocketed you are in a great position today to either rent it sell it for amazing profits or to occupy it and 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 have the benefit of being a part of a greater um, area community whatever you may call it right so btc has this scarcity now btc had its trials of going through from being nothing into being the u.s government ruling in the court of law that it is a form of currency right so it has passed that test and many first world countries accept bitcoin for goods and services already right yes we in the caribbean and trinidad and tobago aren't as widely accepting of btc just yet but i know we will get there we usually get there late especially in tnt however btc is being accepted as we speak worldwide there are bitcoin atms in several states in the United States whereby you go with your phone you scan something and you collect fiat that paper if you really want it if you really need it to do something else right because there are profits to make as well and I'll explain that um, in a bit so Bitcoin will be scarce in terms of 21 million coins alone and those who would have been investing in it then you know you will be the ones with that precious asset Right, it has passed the laws. It's it's deemed that as a they call it a commodity, right? We have some of the best people that analyze economies, uh, the people who, who who have money now. Not everyone who are the richest people in the world, you know, are in agreement with bit, with Bitcoin, but many are agreeing and accepting it and encouraging people to get involved. And they themselves are spending billions of dollars. Elon Musk being one, investing in this cryptocurrency. Now, just as demand and supply works, the more people demand Bitcoin, is the greater the price goes. 
if it didn't have a demand or there's a huge sell-off the price goes down right but as we have been observing this coin i did my first bitcoin video um and it was i was doing it because i was excited that bitcoin had finally hit twenty thousand dollars that was this year right i can't remember if it was january uh actually no i i really can't remember when i did the first video about on my facebook page about bitcoin hitting twenty thousand dollars but it wasn't too far away and up to yesterday because i really haven't checked the charts this morning but up to yesterday btc was back to it had hit 50k earlier this year right earlier than expected for one and when i checked the chart up to yesterday bitcoin had been back to 50k again looking like it's already ready it's already waiting to go upward more activities being done some of the other one of the other good things is that bitcoin just to show how many people are involved in this bitcoin's market cap you can research what market cap is had hit one trillion dollars right and that puts it on par with big companies such as google amazon um i forgot the others right but you name it these are the companies of your facebook is a is a 900 and something billion dollar market cap company so when ptc had first hit the one trillion dollar market cap it was even better than facebook and facebook is a giant corporation right so this goes to show that market cap is in a trillion it just means in terms of all the money is invested from out from people and companies and whoever are added up to one million dollars right so that's the kind of interest that's in this commodity right and so the prices from analysts and all who expect uh, the coins to go to whatever um, price they are still predicting that this thing could go into the six figures it's around 50k now but people are predicting a hundred thousand some people are predicting five hundred thousand there are even people who are saying that bitcoin has the potential to become one million dollars for one now you may be thinking hey bitcoin is fifty thousand dollars i can't get into this game because i don't have fifty thousand us dollars if that's your thoughts let me clear it up for you one time bitcoin is the it can be denominated in other words you don't have to buy a whole coin it's a digital thing and just as a dollar can be broken up into 25 cents 10 cents 5 cents 1 cents you name it btc can be purchased in portions so if you only have a hundred us dollars or 50 us dollars or 10 us dollars and you decide you want to put that into bitcoin you will get the relevant fraction that ten dollars represents and you can have bitcoin the other good news is that not only can you buy it as a fraction but whatever percentage increase the whole coin makes you will make it on what you have the value you have right so that is great news if btc rises a hundred percent from where it is now and you have ten dollars you will now have twenty dollars right so you have an extra an extra ten dollars onto your original ten dollars so this is great news for anybody who is interested and of course you can always compound compound in terms of you have a job you have a business you, you earn income you get, you get revenue you can always decide hey every month i'll decide to put in 20 us dollars to purchase some btc i'll put in 100 or i might upgrade i will do one month ten dollars i'll try for 20 next month i'll do 30 and as you add that you can put it into the same wallet if you would like and increase your balance so that when the when the currency moves you make more money because ten percent on ten dollars is not the same as ten percent on ten thousand dollars right you, you obviously would earn more so you can actually be a part of this thing right now and because it is still projected to go higher you have some time to, to participate in what we call the bull run so they use two animal terms to refer to when the currency when the bitcoin is going up or when something is going up versus when something is going down so when something is going up we call it the bull market or we call it that the currency is bullish when something is going down they say it's bearish right it's it's bearish because i guess the example is that bears like to tear down stuff so when it's going down that's why it's referred to as a bear versus when it's going up you refer to it as a bull you know bulls operate right the raging bull it's going up you know the 
can't stop it. So that is that is what this is about. Now, uh, just to bring to light why this would be important and why you still have a chance. If we are, if analysts are seeing that we are at fifty k right now, and a lot of major corporations are now coming on, now investing, a lot of people are now pushing this Bitcoin thing. Uh, more than in 2008 and 2009 when it was when it was started right analysts are projecting um 100,000 200,000 500,000 if you get in today and that moves from this 50k region to 100,000 region and and your little fraction if you don't have a whole coin your little fraction will also move then you have you have the ability to make a good bit of money in profit still depending on how much you choose to risk and invest in right so if you can really i mean a lot of people in the past we were so caught up thinking about real estate invest in real estate but we know the challenges for the average draw to purchase a house to get a mortgage to get a piece of land the kind of uh, requirements that the banks and the credit unions would have on you and it's a lot more difficult for the average person to duplicate such success similarly if you wanted to do something in vehicles right um you have commercial vehicles it still requires a level of uh, financial progress right and financial success to prove to the bank that you can pay this loan over time to get your fleet of vehicles or whatever however as i said with bitcoin you can put in ten dollars twenty dollars and you can over time with the little money you get right you can over time put that money into keep buying, keep buying, keep buying until one day woo, you have ten thousand dollars in your in your BTC wallet. That's uh, that's that's benefiting from its movement, from its appreciation, from the bull runs, right? So just to bring it uh, as a real example, people who would have come in on Bitcoin in two thousand and nine, specifically the ones that forgot about it, right? To this day, if they forgot it or if they decided, hey, I'm in for the long haul, I want to keep this for 20 years, let me see where this goes. They are smiling. They are the ones who are millionaire, multi-millionaires, right, right now from that investment because Bitcoin started, right, less than 10 cents in 2008. It was worth nothing. It started trading publicly in 2009, right? And so you had that time when Bitcoin was $10, and there are people who threw in money when it was $10. They purchased 10 coins, 10 whole coins at $10. That's that's nothing, right? That's $100 you spend and you say, hey, leaving that there, you never know what could happen. Because there are people in the world who are pioneers like that and they decide to take that risk. And, you know, what's $100? Let me just throw it behind this thing. It has big hopes, big dreams. It might actually work. And there are people who do that. I mean, there are people who play video games, spend your credit card money to buy game money to unlock a player, to unlock, to unlock a car. So what is sending $100 into Bitcoin, you know, with all this hopes that it had that it could become the currency of the world instead of fiat and so on? So people did that and they forgot it. And then we had 2017. At that time, BTC reached 19,000 something, almost to 20K, the highest it has ever seen. So imagine, as I said before, imagine the people that came in, even if they didn't catch it at $10, you caught, you caught it at $100, you caught it at $500, $1,000, you got in, you got one, you got two coins, three coins, whatever that may be. To this day, you are still in massive profits because $50,000 from spending $1,000 is good profit. There's nothing else that gives that kind of return within the time frame um, that BTC has been moving uh, upward, right? Yes, there was a period that BTC was up and then it went down. It was in a bear market and people were thinking, hey, this is it. It's no more. However, I just recognized that that was just the correction to shoot up again. So uh, when I started to really speak on Bitcoin, Bitcoin was actually in that bear market and it went right back down to 6,000 something. Right? I think it was at 16,000. It went right back to 6,000 and people were saying, hey, you see, this isn't making sense and so on. But thankfully to the true investors and the ones who hold on, right, with no fear, right, BTC is back. And it has definitely surpassed that 16,000 mark and we're looking positive uh, going forward. So I would always say, you know, get yourself involved. Get yourself involved in Bitcoin. You do not know in the next 5, 10 years what the value of this thing may be. Every 4 years they have something called a halving. 
and the, uh, they, they, that's when they cut the, 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 the production of the coins in half right so it becomes more and more that scarcity effect is happening more and more every four years right and sometimes for that happening just after the happening you have the price of bitcoin going up to an all new level our last happening was last year and so what it's doing right now is exactly what we what what is said about the halving after the halving it could be same year of the halving the year after whatever you will see more than likely a new all-time high and so that is what we are in what we are experiencing right now right amongst other things in terms of the companies and the big investors that are coming on board so i will encourage you get involved you can purchase if you if you feel like it you can find ways and a means to purchase btc you know if you're looking at this and you want to reach out to me i could actually help you out depending on the value of coins you're looking for um but you can just purchase btc put it in our wallet and forget it. it's like an investment right it is an investment not like right and you can just leave that there spend what you can afford to lose it's an investment all investments carry risk right the greater the risk the greater the reward but it could also be the greater the loss as well right but we're not thinking about that right we're thinking about the positive side based on analysts based on what we've been seeing moving along so you spend you invest what you can afford to lose and understand that it's a risk right so you don't send your whole life savings and you're hoping for this thing because when it corrects you don't want to be getting a heart attack when you're seeing that price going down right lower than what you spent so um get some bitcoin keep it in a wallet or alternatively to that get involved right i have a source i am involved in a source i have it two ways i have bitcoin separate and i have a source that provides me more bitcoin so just as in the in the normal world in the traditional world if you have money they teach you to purchase an asset and let that asset make money for you same way in the crypto world you have crypto there are means and ways in which you can let that crypto work for you and gain more right so i'm involved in such a system as well if you would like that information of course you can reach me on my social media platforms at leah cl moses whereby i can give you the information information is free and you can always make a choice to grow that bitcoin but by all means get involved in cryptocurrency get yourself some bitcoin because in 10 years if that bitcoin price is really five hundred thousand dollars and you didn't invest today upon here in this podcast you would have missed a lovely opportunity right so that was my quick my quick uh, podcast for the day on bitcoin i hope you got some value i hope you understand a little more um i will do another another um, another podcast probably going into the blockchain and what is blockchain technology for you which is the, the system on which bitcoin runs um i'll be getting into you know the, the 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 facts about how bitcoin cannot be cannot be um altered you cannot alter the transactions you cannot it's not easy to hack into anything and just take away your coins as it is to hack into a banking system and clean out the bank we had a, an experience like that with a local insurance company, right? Where hackers got in and they wiped the accounts and they had to pay a ransom to get it back, right? But there are so many things in place with Bitcoin that that solves the, the problems that Fiat had. And so that may be our next, our next um, podcast. So I urge you to subscribe to me, subscribe and follow on the different channels because if it isn't a podcast, it might just be a YouTube video. So my YouTube channel is Leo CL Moses. So I'll see you in the next one or you'll hear from me for the next podcast each and every Monday. Thank you for listening.